So for women, about seven to 10 years around the onset of menopause, bone loss can be you know, three to 7% annually. When I came across this figure, um, one of our analysts pulled this up, I was really surprised. Again, two things really stand out to me. We've already discussed one, which is you have this pretty significant rise in uh, bone density between birth and age 20. It then remains relatively plateaued. In this case, menopause kicks in around 50, and then you really start to see the fall. Look at the dotted line. The dotted line tells you that there's really a totally separate trajectory for this woman, which is if she didn't reach her full genetic potential by the age of 20, she's missed an enormous opportunity later in life. This is a podcast you should care about. Even if you're a parent of a 10-year-old child, this is why. You want to make sure that your kid's doing the right things when they're 10 to 20 so that they reach their full genetic potential. What is it about menopause that creates issues in bone health. Bone mass increases in the presence of stress. So it turns out that that signaling process is regulated very heavily by estrogen. And so in the absence of estrogen, that signal gets reduced. And that's effectively why menopause, which is a sudden withdrawal of estrogen, is such a devastating thing for women who don't have their hormones replaced. Should bone health be a factor to consider in women who are thinking about starting HRT? Well, I'm about to get into a whole bunch more trouble, Nick. 